82 Inc. inherits a rich history of bomber operation, starting with World War I, through to the Second World War and the Malayan Campaign, and more recently, Vietnam. Statistics show that during the war, in Bomber Command alone, this Bomber Command, 110,000 aircrew went through Bomber Command, and of that number, 56,000 were killed. Joe Herman was a chap, uh, he was flying Halifaxes at the time, and uh, they were shot up on, uh, over the Gelson Curse in one of the big towns, and uh, he bailed the crew out, and he was just about to grab his own parachute, and the plane just exploded in mid-air at about 18,000 feet, and here he is plummeting towards Earth without a parachute. But as he was coming down, he hit something, and he instinctively grabbed it, and it turned out to be the leg of one of his crew coming down in his parachute, and they both landed together, and uh, they both survived the, that incident. Well, I flew um, in excess of 2,000 hours, on Canberra's just like this one, until in 1967, I was one of five air crew assigned to the US to fly with American squadrons on the Allies' newest and most sophisticated tactical bomber. The F-111 was a quantum leap ahead of the Canberra in terms of technology and performance, and it boasted several firsts, including the swing wing, which enabled the aircraft to fly three times the speed of the Canberra. Another innovation, terrain following radar, was a major breakthrough as it enabled the jet to fly under enemy radar cover, supersonic, day and night. Ex-Canberra crews were particularly pleased with the capsule ejection system, as it improved their survival chances dramatically, especially the navigator, who over the target area would normally be operating in the nose of the Canberra, away from the ejection seat. Our base in the US was Nellis Air Force Base in the Nevada desert near Area 51, where projects like the Lockheed Blackbird and stealth aircraft first saw the light of day. I remember one day in 1968, we were on a test flight at around twice the speed of sound when a blackbird went past as though we were standing still. That flight was pretty exciting. As you imagine, the takeoff in the heart of my lungs and in my throat and uh, a bit quick out my spine, but it was really exciting. 